In state houses across the country this year, lawmakers have pushed bills restricting or outright banning gender affirming care for transgender minors. So far, 17 states have enacted some of those laws and are considering similar bills. The wave of legislation targeting transgender, transgender youth is no coincidence, and it didn't come from grassroots organizations or from constituents. The Associated Press analyzed the language in more than 130 such bills and found many are similar or even identical to model legislation written by special interest groups. Jeff McMillan joins me now. He's an editor and writer for the Associated Press and worked on the investigation about this legislation. Thanks so much for being with us. I, I, I guess I'd like to ask you to begin with to give us some sense of the process. Big job. How did you analyze these new bills and how did you sort of track down the sources of the legislation? Thank you. Um, yes, it was it was a big process. In order to do it cr uh, correctly and effectively, we had to narrow our focus a bit. Um, my colleagues Kimberly Cruzy, Tavish Karjai, and I um, weeks ago began gathering uh, copies of bills from legislators around the country dealing with um, transgender focused legislation, and um, the uh, it quickly became clear that it was going to be a big job, so we narrowed our focus to um, bills focusing on gender affirming care. And um, it quickly became clear um, when we began comparing it to model legislation being offered by some groups that um, there was a lot of language that was identical or nearly identical in those bills to the model legislation we were looking at. So, Jeff, I, I guess really what you're describing are, are almost template bills. So can you... Give me a sense of, of who uh, are the groups that are behind the writing of these template bills? There are there are several groups that are putting forth model legislation and um, and often have in the past on various topics. And this year um, on bills to restrict gender affirming care for minors, we focused on the groups, the Family Research Council, which is a well-known group that has fought um, in the past against um, things like abortion rights and LGBTQ rights. Um, and we also looked at model legislation being offered by a fairly new group uh, called Do No Harm. So who's funding them? What what are the goals of, of groups like Do No Harm? Um, Family Research Council's focus has long been on social issues and they have close ties to the evangelical Christian community. Um, and they uh, are an older organization whose um, funding and, and various ties are already pretty well known. Do No Harm is a newer group that was incorporated in January 2022 by a former associate dean at the University of Pennsylvania Medical School. So there is some, um, you know, at least a stamp of uh, medical approval there um, based on the background of the founder. Um, the funding of the organization remains unclear because it is so new. It hasn't yet had to file tax forms that would give a clearer picture of who's funding it. But uh, we did find during our investigation that it had won a $250,000 award called the Gregor Peterson Prize, which has been awarded in the past to other groups that provide model legislation. All right. So when you're talking about model legislation, and, and these are this differs from sort of laws that originate or, or legislation that originates uh, with constituents in a particular state, for instance, you have to ask, what is the motivation? Is it is it about legislating or is there some way in which the purpose of this is simply to get voters riled up? Well, first, model legislation is not a new thing. It's been used in state houses for decades, and it's a common way of doing business and writing bills. Um, However, uh, the people we spoke with in this instance said it uh, was troubling because uh, the bills spread misinformation about gender affirming care based on distorted interpretations of science. And um, the people I spoke with seemed to indicate that that was problematic because it's an effort not only to get legislation passed, but it's being controlled essentially by a handful of interest groups um, one person that I spoke with said the the goal is not to improve the lives of Americans, but to gain access, power, and wealth. Uh, we got time for one more. I just I, I guess I want to ask: Are there other similar efforts 
that are mounted by groups on the left. There certainly are, yeah. Um, model legislation is not only used by uh, conservative or Republican groups. Democrats um, have used it previously, too. All right, Jeff McMillan from the Associated Press, thank you for your time and sharing with us your work. We appreciate it. Thank you.